People think, oh, it's just a rice cooker. Well, it may look like a rice cooker, but it is so much more. It's like my second book, One Pot Meals. This is a one pot cooking machine. Whenever I design anything and I partner with Aroma to do our first multi-cooker for HSN, the most important thing to me is it has to be intuitive in design. So for example, STS is saute then simmer. So what does that mean? That means that the heat is going to get generated that I can saute anything in it. If you do a braised short rib or a chicken, you always saute the meat first to get color and flavor on it, and then you add your aromatics, and then you add your broth, and it can all be done in one unit. If I did rice pilaf, which I just demoed, right? If it was done traditionally, it would be in a pan, I would get it going, I would turn on the oven as well. That amount of electricity alone is already five times that it takes to use one multi-cooker. Pork, onions, garlic, saute, add the rice, saute, add the liquid. And what the STS function, saute then simmer, it has a built-in microchip. So when you add the liquid, it brings the temperature down and then it automatically trip over to cook. Once I add the liquid, it's good to go. Now, it doesn't just do that. You can go through the menu as well. You have grains, you can make soup. So that's a very slow simmer. You can steam anything in it. You can slow cook. And then of course, as you saw earlier, Hope, you can have there's a cake function. The fact that you can actually bake a cake in here, I love. And we've come out with two. We have the 16 cup one, and we have this larger one here. This is a 20 cup. That's why I like multi cookers. It's so much more than just a rice cooker. It does make the most perfect bowl of rice, but it can also, for a family of four, you can make meals all day long. And ideally, you start creating with it. As long as you start with the most basic stuff, some type of protein seared, some type of aromatic in the alien group, which is onions, scallions, shallots, or garlic, salt and pepper, and then whatever veg you want. You can do it with rice or without rice. Uh, it makes great rice pilaf without using an oven, um, but it can make great stews and soups and everything else in between.